Yes, good speed on the cue ball, but hasn't quite covered the reds with the green. Nevertheless, still a difficult safety. Catch them thick. Game's over. Excellent safety, just the paint and the red there. Well, caught it a little thick again, but he's got away with it. It's a time for steady nerves, isn't it? But th both these two players don't lack a uh, bottle on the big occasion. Steve Maguire, former UK champion. Ronnie O'Sullivan, of course, has won everything there is to win in the game, including three world titles. He's won a ranking of any Germany before... 1996 German Open. Just landing up to the two reds by the black spot. This looks pretty good. Good shot. Well, this is very risky if he t decides to take the red on just behind the black. No guaranteed colour. <laughs> Couldn't have played that one any better either. players playing some very good safety well they produced the match that befits this great occasion the full house two and a half thousand people not only that really respectful enthusiastic fans snooker in germany is undergoing a huge boom they love it and they would love i'm sure even the ronnie o'sullivan fans they would love a decider He played the plant there, sent one red on to the others, just caught it a little too thick. And a little fortunate, he hasn't left something a little easier, Steve Maguire. What a clearance that was in that last frame, Joe, that 82, when he was right under the cosh. Held himself together so well, didn't he? And he's not giving in without a fight, Stephen Maguire. He's well up for this, and so is Ronnie O'Sullivan.
Seems a long time ago that Maguire beat John Higgins 5-0 in the second round. That was an indicator of how well he was queuing. Of course, he won a tournament in Germany last month, one of the PTCs. And he would have got a lot of confidence from that, picking up another trophy. Yes, yeah, caught that one a little thick, but no real damage done. There is a red to the left corner. But it's such a difficult red with no guaranteed position. I'd be surprised if he goes for this. He's contemplating it. Don't forget, he can't afford to miss. Well, Sullivan has got a frame to play with. Yes, I feel that that was the right shot, although he's been a little unfortunate to catch the blue full in the face. Well, he's got half a chance here of getting that cue ball in behind the green. And again, he's going, he's looking at the pot, but very risky this, and no guaranteed position. Yep, he can play for the black, but he's got a good safety here to get him behind the green. Caught it a little thick again. Good speed. Just a touch thick. I'll tell you what, fingernails are in short supply in this audience. They have seen a real thriller today and the most thrilling part of the match possibly still to come. Well, not a ball potted in this 16th frame as yet. It's been going about 10 minutes now. Well, very fortunate, very fortunate, not going in that corner pocket was one. And rattling and hitting the reds was another. Well, he'd like to get that cue ball somewhere next to the yellow, to the left of the yellow. Or to the right of the blue. But both risky shots to play. considering playing the cue ball to that side cushion. Manny O'Sullivan would have an easy safety shot with the reds next to the pink to come in behind the green. Could be in trouble here. I'm not sure if he's left a red on to the right corner. Surely he has had a look to see that. Yep, the red doesn't go. Maybe another one there that goes out. And in it goes, and he's on the green. There's a red up in the bark area. 
That was very careless of Stephen Maguire. He'd fought so hard with the safety and then plays an unforced error. Well, his safety success prior to that was 88%, but that's going to count for nothing if he doesn't get another shot. Well, the pink goes to the middle. The black will go to the corner if he can find the gap between all those reds. Five. He's played for the pink, but if he's on the black, that's a bonus. Not quite. He'd like the pink to go onto the blue spot. Four. 